Hello, everybody. Welcome to Embrace the Suck, our group for Elevate OCR. Uh, so this is Try This Thursday, where we talk about uh, new things, new gear, new gadget, new things that we might want to add uh, to improve our lives. So today we're going to talk about sleep tracking. Uh, about a year ago, I didn't think anything about how I slept, tracking my sleep, uh, quality of my sleep. I just went by the rule, sort of try to get seven, eight hours of sleep and you'll be good. And most people have heard that and most people don't go by it anyway. But I started doing a little bit of digging around, a little bit of research, uh, and then started listening to podcasts, started listening to sleep scientists, people who do this for a living. And I was shocked at the correlation between the quality of sleep, the time that we sleep, and serious diseases like dementia, Alzheimer's, cancer, things like that. Um, and if you look for articles on this, it's very compelling. Um, the leading researchers and scientists that are studying Alzheimer's now um, are pretty consistent in saying that they think sleep is the number one factor um, in causing dementia and Alzheimer's. Now, it's not a couple nights. It's 20, 30 years of not getting enough sleep and not getting quality sleep. So it, the reason that, that this is happening is because when your body sleeps, your brain cleans. It, it basically cleans out all the junk it is in your brain every day that gets accumulated. And when it doesn't have enough time to do its cleaning, it leaves behind whatever's left. And day after day, week after week, month after month, that stuff builds up and it never gets cleaned out, right? So this is a vacuum cleaner that never gets cleaned, a filter that never gets reset. And that is what building up is causing these issues. So one School of thought is, okay, everybody just sleep more. Sleep seven, sleep eight hours, but you have to track and you have to understand the quality of your sleep. It's possible to sleep eight hours a night and not be sleeping well because you're not getting enough deep sleep or you're not getting enough REM sleep. So the try this Thursday is try for 30 days or 60 days tracking your sleep. There's a couple ways you can do it. One is get a smartwatch that tracks sleep. Uh, this is my Sunto Spartan. Uh, it does a pretty good job of tracking sleep. It tracks how long I've slept, how long as I was awake, uh, if I woke up during the night, how much time I had in deep sleep. So this is my quality of sleep. And it also tracks my heart rate through the night. So it can tell me heart rate variability, resting heart rate, things like that, which are really important. Um, you can do Fitbit. They do a pretty good job of tracking sleep. Uh, Apple Watch, not so good, but it's a start. If you have one, get into that sleep mode. If you want the best sleep tracking mode uh, or device, in my opinion, it's this guy here. This is called an Aura Ring, O-U-R-A. Um, I'm testing this out for 90 days. Um, this thing really gets into the science. Uh, how much REM sleep versus deep sleep, heart rate variability, your readiness score each day, your suggested bedtimes, how much sleep you really need um, each night. You might not need seven, eight hours. You might be fine on six and a half some nights. You might need eight hours other nights. And so sleep tracking is really fantastic way to do it. So we, we always say we measure what matters. Sleep is a huge thing and it's way undervalued by most people. It is probably a top two or three thing that you need to do better in your life. And most people don't track it to even understand how they're sleeping. So try this Thursday, track your sleep, find a way to do it. Let me know what you're trying. Let me know how it's working. And remember, embrace the sun. That's it.